Kathy Wood, Elon Musk, are they right? Hi, Seema. Uh, let's separate out goods and services. Goods prices X energy, well, well, core goods prices, have been decelerating for the last five months, and we'll see further evidence of that tomorrow. Services prices, though, continue to accelerate. When you blend them together, inflation is slowing down, no question. But the question really is, to what extent does it and how quickly does it? Do we go back to pre-COVID 1% to 2% levels of inflation soon, or it's going to take a while? And I still think it's going to take a while. And, and getting to the point of goods and services, the 20 years leading into COVID, services inflation X energy averaged 2.8% per year. So there's no such thing as deflation, disinflation when it comes to services. Core goods prices averaged zero. So I think we're in a structurally higher inflationary environment that will settle out probably next year around 3 to 4%. And this belief that we're going to somehow get to pre-COVID levels anytime soon, I just don't see it happening. You don't see it happening. And then does that, does that make sense that both Bank of America and Goldman Sachs ahead of tomorrow's CPI report have raised their expectations for the next Fed policy meeting, now expecting a 75 basis point rate hike versus the 50 they had initially been estimating? Well, especially after hearing from Governor Waller on Friday and voting member Mester, uh, they still, still seem intent on raising 75. But we're now, whether it's 50 or 75 and whether they raise 25 or 50 at the, the meetings thereafter, uh, we're getting into treacherous territory here with these rate hikes. Keep in mind, it was the fourth quarter of 2018 when the Fed funds rate got to two and a quarter, two and a half, and the, the markets had a hissy fit. Well, we're about to take the Fed funds rate above that level. It'll be only the second time in 40 years that the Fed funds rate is going to go above the previous peak in the Fed funds rate. So there is a game of chicken now that the Fed is playing with economic activity and them believing that they're not going to slow it too much and the market's worried that they will. So, Peter, I assume that, that what I'm hearing you say is that you disagree with Kathy Woods, who says the surprise could be deflation in the CPI and PCE deflator by year end. I assume you disagree with that. She says the leading indicators of that, declines in gold and copper, are flagging the risk of deflation. Let me ask you what the hell deflation is. Does, de does de deflation occur anytime prices decline a little bit from already elevated levels? In other words, is what we have been uh, witnessing in energy prices, for example, deflation? Uh, the better word is disinflation. If, if oil prices go from 50 to 100, and then the next year go from 100 to 95, that's not really deflation. Right. It's a little disinflation in that prices have come off the boil. But that, that's going to happen. We had a massive spike. It's going to fall back down again. It's going to correct, right? Yes. So why are we fearing that? Down. We shouldn't fear that, should we? That's more, of, that's more like stock prices getting elevated and then coming back to a more reasonable level. Right. We want prices to slow the rate of gain. I think what Kathy's pointing out is, is that we're getting to the point where the Fed is threatening economic growth to the point that they are going to overdo it with this tightening and that the economic recession as a result will be worse than the, 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 than the inflation that they're trying to contain. Do you share that and view? Do you share that view? view? Are you worried about that? I, I think the Fed is now pushing the envelope with their rate hikes. We have, we, have, we have become a very interest rate sensitive economy that has been trained to deal with low interest rates with low inflation. Now where we are in a higher inflationary environment, I'll be at a slower pace mm -hmm. and a higher rate environment that disrupts this, this sort of world that we were in going into COVID and, and the last year uh, before they started hiking rates aggressively.